My name is Bob Rich, and I'm here to present the uh, Norma Rich uh, Memorial Scholarship, the first annual for 4-H. This is the first time we've done it, uh, and it goes to a graduating uh, senior in the area high school go, uh, in 4-H and plan on going to uh, college and pursuing a career in agriculture-related field. Uh, a little background on, on Norma. She was uh, raised in Indiana on a farm. Uh, her father had a purebred Angus uh, herd and she showed her cattle throughout the 4-H uh, area there and the state level too. So she did quite a bit of work with that and won quite a few awards. She also was active in, in sewing and baking, so she had awards with those areas too. She went to Purdue University, graduated in 1961 from Purdue with a home economics degree, and she taught for two years in a local small high school there in Indiana. Uh, we were married in 1963, and uh, we came to California, came to Ventura County in 1965 by way of Texas, and has spent the rest of our life here in Ventura County. Uh, this award uh, goes to Sam and Bo. It's the first one to do it, and of course Sam's background, uh, maybe you know some of it, but he's been active in 4-H, quite active in the Sheep Project. He was a four-year player in volleyball in high school at Rio Mesa, and he also was active in other areas in the school too, as well, the church, and raised turkeys and chickens, I think, too, at the same time. Uh, he showed in jackpot ca uh, lambs uh, in California uh, until this year when it's been kind of closed down. Uh, in 4 H here in the county, he won cha Grand Champion Championship three years, I believe it was. Yeah. And then also state, he won. Yeah. Yeah, with one Mark Lamb. Yeah, right. So it's quite a sheep project, guys. So congratulations to you. Uh, going to Cal Poly, I understand. Yes, sir. And uh, plan planning on uh, veterinary medicine or uh, plant Animal science. science? Animal yeah. science, good. Well, here's your check for that. Thank so you. congratulations to you. Thank you. A couple, couple five wheelers, uh, tractor, uh, engine, and uh, farm equipment club here in the area. Uh, we are a club that actually promotes antique tractors, uh, farm tractors, equipment, and also uh, hit and miss engines primarily too. We use these for our own uh, enjoyment and also to educate the public about the way farming was done in the old days. Our club has started a scholarship program, or has had it for a couple of years. We've had an FFA scholarship in existence for a while. We have also had a scholarship for the California Women for Agriculture in existence. And this last year, we started one for the 4-H. And this is what we're presenting today is the 4-H Awards. We had four applicants this year that went with the, for the 4-H, and the 4-H club uh, chooses who it is. It's $5,000 that the club gave to 4-H. And that $5,000 has been decided to distribute between the four members uh, graduating from high school, and, uh, four H members graduating from high school and pursuing a career in agriculture or agriculture related areas in college. Um, four applicants this year were so outstanding that they decided to divide the 5000 among the four. So each of the recipients is getting uh, $1,250 for their college education. And we have uh, three of them here. We've already presented one. Sam Hoyt was the first one we presented on Monday. And he's going to uh, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and, uh, with uh, a career in animal science and possibly veterinary medicine. He's not sure yet, but that's the area he's going to go into. So we have the other three with us here today. I'd like to call up Ruby first. Ruby Snow. Hi, Ruby. Um, she, a uh, local gal, of course, in 4-H. And uh, is it uh, Cam Cambria or Ruby Mesa? Cambria? Real Mason High School, I'm sorry. She's interested in chemistry. And this had worked with that and background is interesting in the fact that her grandparents, from my understanding, have had some dementia, Alzheimer's problems, and she took care of them. And due to the fact that she took care of them, she got interested in chemistry and did a science project in that area too. And one second, I understand, is that right? Yeah, she went second at a science project with one of the chemicals that's associated with Alzheimer's. And what she'd like to do is to go to, or she is going to uh, Cal Poly Northridge, uh, Cal State Northridge, and pursuing a degree in agriculture chemistry. Uh, that's an area, of course, that's really important in the, nowadays because of the, or the uh, insecticides and the herbicides that are used in, in the agriculture field. So that's a great area to get involved in, too. Uh, so, Ruby, here is your scholarship. Congratulations to you. Audrey is, is also a Cameo graduate and going to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Um, her, I forget which actually is about. Agricultural business. 
That's right, agriculture business. She likes to get involved with that as well, too. And she has a little bit of background with that with the family uh, locally here, working in the area. And so she's going to be studying that at the Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. So Audrey, congratulations to you. Evan is a Camarillo uh, graduate, right? Yeah. yeah, I went to Camarillo, graduating there. His interest is, uh, is actually in uh, plant science, and he'd like to get involved in that at the college level, too. And he's going to go to a Cal Poly San Luis Obispo to study plant science. Um, he's been raising plants since he's five years old, from what I understand. Yeah. So he's really involved in, in that area of uh, agriculture. Uh, also showed sheep to, I think, at a 4 level. Uh, so his plan is to, to, to go in that area too. He's also been involved with uh, uh, viticulture, with grapes, and did an internship with that. So he did quite a bit of work with that too. So. Wow, that's so cool.